Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel on Feynman integration. Today we'll be evaluating this integral. That's the integral from zero to infinity of x over e to the x minus one dx. I am borrowing this uh, integral from the channel uh, Maths 505. I'm going to be solving it slightly different uh, in a slightly different way than he did it. Um, but anyway, let's just get started. So, no good way to make a, uh, a substitution. Um, uh, you know, a reparameterization um, on that, you know, to give us a function of t. There's really no good place to insert a t or add a function of t that would, uh, that would make this better. I thought about um, making a function um, like f of t being equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of uh, e to the negative x t over e to the x minus 1 dx, and then recovering that x um, by taking a partial with respect to t of the integrand. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of luck with that. Maybe somebody else can solve it using that first step. It looked promising at first, but it turns out this is the way to go. This is what we're going to do. We're going to make the substitution that u is equal to e to the x, and then we're going to make another substitution where w is equal to 1 over u. In other words, our substitution is going to be, well, let's do one substitution at a time. I don't want to get, I don't want to make any silly mistakes. So we'll perform this substitution. All right, so if we make that, we'll get that i is equal to, all right, 0 for x would give us 1 for u. And then infinity for x would give us infinity for u. x would give us natural log u. And then e to the x would give us u. Minus 1 is still minus 1. But let's see, that means that du is equal to e to the x dx, but e to the x is simply u, so du over u is dx, so we put du, and then instead of 1 over u, we'll put u to the negative 1. All right, so there's our first substitution. Now, our next substitution is going to be that w is equal to 1 over u. Therefore, u is also equal to 1 over w, and du is equal to negative 1 over w squared dw. Alright, so we actually don't really need this one right here. All right, so let's apply that substitution. Now, that means that i is equal to the integral from 1 over 1 to 1 over infinity, which is 0, of the natural log of 1 over w, 1 over w, and then u to the negative 1, well, that's 1 over u, which is just w, and then we have over, let's see, u is 1 over w. We still have the minus 1. And the du now becomes negative 1 over w squared dw. Let's see. We'll use one of these w's to cancel that w, and then we'll distribute the other one to make this w minus 1, or I'm sorry, 1 minus w. All right. So, let's see, we'll use this negative sign to make this a plain old natural log w. And then we'll introduce another negative sign to switch the bounds of integration. 
this will be 0 to 1 dw. All right. So now we're going to use a couple facts that I proved um, in pre previous videos. Um, I believe three or four videos ago I showed this, that the, um, the sum of the reciprocals of the squares from n equals 1 to infinity is pi squared over 6. And I didn't prove this one, but it's a very well-known um, identity right there. And um, this is true on the interval negative 1 to 1, where I believe negative 1 is included, but 1 is not. But we can, get, we can get around that, or we could get around it, by just calling this A and then uh, letting A approach 1. Um, that's how we can get around the fact that 1 is not technically included in our interval. But anyway, let's just continue. Okay. So, now what we want to do is we want to somehow do something with this. Um, and this is, this is actually, this is going to be a redo of one of my previous videos, because I've already actually solved, I've, I've solved this integral already. Well, I've solved 0 to 1 of natural log x over 1 minus x dx. This is just negative that same thing. But I'm going to redo it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function of t that's equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the t over 1 minus x dx. And the reason I did that is because you can take a partial with respect to t of this integrand using the Leibniz rule um, and recover a natural log x in the numerator there. So that's what we're going to do. Let's uh, find f prime of t. That's equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the t natural log x over 1 minus x dx. So, if we take f prime and evaluate it at zero, meaning we plug in zero for this t because this is our f prime, we are going to get the integral from zero to one of the natural log of x over one minus x dx, which is negative i, we'll just write it this way. Negative f prime at zero is equal to i. All right, well, so now all we have to do is evaluate this and plug in, uh, plug in t equals 0 and then take its negative and we have i. Well, we can't really evaluate this integral because it's actually worse than the integral that we started with, uh, which is over there. It's actually a it's much more difficult integral. Um, but we can actually rewrite our, um, our f of t in a different way and then take its derivative to get an equivalent function. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to rewrite this f of t using this fact right here. We're going to replace this 1 over 1 minus x with the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n. So that means that f of t is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the t times the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n, and then of course dx. And then, since this does not depend on n, we can bring it right inside our sum, and we'll just show that by putting a plus t on the exponent on x there. And then, um, also using Fubini's theorem, since there's no problems with convergence, we can switch the sum and interval signs. So this is going to be the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of the integral from 0 to 1 of this thing dx. Well, that's going to be the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the n plus t dx is going to be x to the n plus t plus 1 over n plus t plus 1 evaluated from 0 to 1. 
In other words, that's just going to be 1 over n plus t plus 1. 1 over n plus t plus 1. Okay, so now we have a new expression for f prime, for f of t, which we can also take the derivative of. Since this is just the sum of a bunch of stuff, we can just take the derivative directly by taking the derivative with respect to t of this inner function right there. So let's do that. And we'll also notice that this can be written this way. This 1 over n plus t plus 1 can be written as n plus t plus 1 to the negative 1. So when we take a derivative with respect to t, we're going to get this negative 1 will come down. We'll subtract 1 from the exponent then multiply it by the derivative with respect to t of the inner function, which is just 1, so it stays the same. All right, so that means our f prime of t, where can I write? Let's erase this and this. Let's say that f prime of t is equal to, let's see, um, well, we still have the sum from n equals 0 to infinity, and then it's going to be negative 1 over n plus 1 at plus, plus t plus 1 squared, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So now, um, evaluating at this, evaluating f prime at zero and then taking its negative will give us i. So let's see, that means that i is equal to negative this thing evaluated at zero. So let's see, the negative and the negative would cancel out, so that just means that's the sum from n equals zero to infinity of 1 over n plus 1 squared, right? That makes sense, right? Because we're just saying that f prime at 0 is equal to negative i. So f prime evaluated f prime evaluated at 0 is equal to negative i. If we evaluate this at 0, we get 1 over n plus 1 squared, and then we take its negative and we get i. So that's, that's true. Okay. All right. Well, now we can uh, manipulate this a little bit by uh, bringing n plus 1 to n. This will just give us 1 over n squared. But since I just subtracted uh, all the 1 from all the n's that are inside the function right here, I have to add 1 to the index. Okay, well, right there, we already know what this is equal to. That's equal to pi squared over 6. And that's it. That's the answer. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed that.